Ah, uh, Twitter. Thanks for picking up the torches nobody wants to carry. Or even wants, to be honest. Like, letting people hide other people's tweets. Or allowing us to follow topics, but not those topics, heavens no. Or constantly changing the way it fucking looks, causing game-breaking glitches that require DLC until patches. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. But I just wanted to take like 10 minutes out of your day to talk about the most amazing feature change yet. Twitter now stands boomers and will ban you for making fun of them. <laughs> That's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Also, there are a bunch more new rules and Twitter admits they will be selectively enforced. No, I'm not kidding. Let's hit it. <laughs> So like four days ago, I saw a storm of tweets about this, but I wanted to really look at it before commenting. Essentially, Twitter has created an arbitrary set of guidelines and will selectively enforce them at will. On March 5th, they wrote a very poorly worded thing, which I'm going to struggle through reading. Quote, We create our rules to keep people safe on Twitter, and they continuously evolve to reflect the realities of the world we operate within. Our primary focus is on addressing the risks of offline harm, and research, asterisk, shows that dehumanizing language increases that risk. As a result of months of conversations and feedback from the public and conversations with both and external experts and our own teams, in July 2019, we expanded our rules against the hateful conduct to include language that dehumanizes others on the basis of religion. Today, we are further expanding this rule to include language that dehumanizes on the basis of age, disability, or disease. We will require tweets like these, and they included a few screenshots of examples, to be removed from Twitter when they're reported to us. If reported, tweets that break this rule pertaining to age, disease, and or disability sent before today will need to be deleted but not directly result in any account suspensions because they were tweeted before this rule was in place. So there you have it. Every instance of OK Boomer and all its iterations will be scrubbed from the platform, and all future tweets of the like will result in suspension. Similarly, all jokes and insults related to disability or religion will be stricken. Wait, did I say all shit? I forgot. This is Twitter. So, of course, they don't apply policies evenly. They go on to describe that they have certain undefined protected classes who, in fact, can engage in this behavior. From the same post, quote, We also realize we don't have all the answers, which is why we have developed a global working group of outside experts to help us think about how we should address dehumanizing speech around more complex categories like race, ethnicity, and national origin. This group will help us understand the tricky nuances, important regional and historical context, and ultimately help us answer questions like... How do we protect conversations people have within marginalized groups, including those using reclaimed terminology? How do we ensure that our range of enforcement actions take context fully into account, reflect the severity of violations, and are necessary and proportionate? How can or should we factor in considerations as to whether a given protected group has been historically marginalized and or is currently being targeted into our evaluation of severity of harm? How do we account for, quote, power dynamics that can come into play across different groups? All of this builds on our ongoing work with the Trust and Safety Council and our commitment to strengthening and focusing those partnerships. We agree that these are difficult areas to get right, so we want to be thoughtful and effective as we expand this rule. That's right. If you're from an undefined, marginalized group, you can say whatever the fuck you want. And nobody can say it back to you because of an additionally undefined history. Who decides who's marginalized? What are the criteria? Neither of these are answered. And the closest it gives us is that they address their unnamed, quote, trust and safety council. 
Well, considering that this Trust and Safety Council claims to have groups set up to focus on child exploitation, while their platform is still explicitly allowing pedophiles to operate in the open and refuses to outright ban them, despite many people wanting to see this obvious child protection measure taken, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tried it. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't believe them for a fucking second. Maybe they just think pedophiles are disabled, and that's why they're protecting them. Who the fuck knows? One thing I know for certain is this. They're clearly about putting on a happy face and telling you not to give them teeth and not very good at providing a safe platform for anyone. But this is clearly a response. A very popular meme went around mocking boomers, and suddenly it's not okay to make age-related jokes. Good for you, Twitter. The way to solve this divide is clearly to ban its discussion. You did it. You saved the internet. Now, who's the marginalized group in this scenario? Because if it's boomers, I guess you're ignoring the long history of boomers talking shit on millennials and constantly deriding us. Gen X did it too. Hell, even Gen Z does it. So I assume all the posts criticizing millennials will be banned too? The ones calling us all lazy, entitled leeches who freak out about Starbucks from our iPhones because the avocado toast wasn't good enough to pay off our student debt? No? Hey though, rest assured, Reclaim the Net claims a Twitter spokesperson claimed OK Boomer would still be allowed, and a chain of hearsay is superior to Twitter just clarifying this shit. Only people with 401ks will understand. Oh, and while they're at it, they're also putting a rule in that blurs and hides what they claim to be misleading video and tightly controlling dialogue about the coronavirus. But nah, nothing to see here. These people act only in your interest, and a tight control of the flow of information is necessary to protect us all. And if anyone disagrees, remember to recite the mantra. They're a private business. Because private businesses can do no wrong. <laughs>